When your Netgear Orbi shows a purple light, it's indicating a specific connectivity problem that needs attention. A purple light on your Orbi router means it cannot connect to the internet. If you see a purple light on an Orbi satellite, it means the satellite cannot sync with the main router. Understanding the causes of this purple light will help you identify the right solution. The most common causes include internet outages from your service provider, damaged or loose cables, sync problems between your Orbi devices, outdated firmware, or having your satellite positioned too far from the main router. This diagram shows how Orbi devices work together. When they can't communicate properly, you'll see that purple light. Less common causes include incorrect device configuration or temporary software glitches that can usually be resolved with a simple restart. In rare cases, the purple light may indicate a hardware failure, but this is uncommon and usually occurs only after other troubleshooting steps have been tried. Don't panic if you see a purple light. Most of these issues have straightforward solutions. Remember, a purple light simply means there's a connection problem somewhere in your network setup and there are proven troubleshooting steps that can resolve it. First, check all cables connecting your modem, router, and satellites. Ensure they are securely plugged in and not damaged. Next, restart all devices in the correct order. Unplug your modem, router, and satellites. Wait two minutes, then plug them back in starting with the modem. If the purple light persists, try resyncing the router and satellite. Press the sync button on the router, then press the sync button on the satellite within two minutes. Check with your internet service provider to see if there are any outages in your area. This could be the cause of your connection issues. Outdated firmware can cause connection problems. Update your Orbi router and satellites, making sure to update the router first, then the satellites. If none of the previous steps work, consider a factory reset as a last resort. This will erase all custom settings, so use it only when necessary. If the problem continues after trying all these steps, contact Netgear support or your internet service provider for further assistance.